Welcome to the roof. <laughs> I'm on top of the world. How did you do this? I'll tell you what, after I've been working up here this morning, I'm like, we definitely got to fix the deck up here. <laughs> Woo! He's staying in the middle, I see. Huh? All you do is just stand up and there's a handhold up there. This is pretty cool up here. <laughs> Only, I need handrails. Well... I guess we could make sockets on the edge of the deck and put handrails in it. Wow, well, this is a little. But then we got to pack them every time we move. Yeah, maybe not. Because the solar panels are going to go over there and over there. And we'll wow. get that thing right down the middle. What an what amazing view up here. So those end caps here, that's what I've been doing. Yeah, the thing uh, going down the back. I huh? to turn the welder on. So I got to do these two right here. See these little. Oh, yeah. We gotta weld these shut. Yeah. So the water don't go down. I forgot to turn the weld around, so I gotta go. Well, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. <laughs> when I left that thing turned on, and I go back down, I have an Alzheimer's moment. <laughs> oh, oh, man, I wish we were about 20 years younger doing this. Yeah. Maybe 30 years younger. 40. <laughs> 40! 40 years younger! The welder is on. The welder is on and you are back. You've done this a few times, I can tell. Yeah. We could come up with some handrails, though. We really could. Well... But I'm not going to walk around on this rip without a dick. Yeah, I don't think it's good for it. Yeah. You'd have to stay out by the... Yeah. Yeah, because I was walking down the middle and I could feel it giving. Yeah, that ain't going to be good for me. Uh-uh. got to watch this. No. Ouch. That thing doesn't move. It stays right there. <laughs> it's permanent? Yes. I got those pieces back there made. I, I just, saw them. They're down yeah. on the table. Yeah, so you've been busy this morning. Good, good job. Are you Birdman? Birdman. My metal wings are indestructible. Baby, you're too funny. Here's what my wings actually are. <laughs> and all I gotta do is bend them a little bit more up at this end to get them down. And that's why I cut those out of the way and plugged them up. The reason I left this gap here is so water could flow through and get off the bus and it wouldn't create a puddle. Just gotta make one more piece that fits here and bend, bend these a little bit more here so they come down. And maybe I have to trim a little bit off there, but it is looking good. Look, I gotta get all these things pre-drilled and fitted in and then take them back off prime them, get the primer on them, then they'll be ready to come back on and get caulk underneath them and everything. So right now I've been working on these guys. The wings! Yeah, my bat wings. They've got a double bend in them through here because it needs more up here than down there. But there's also one rivet in the way down there. And that's why we have this. Uh, my favorite thing. I love that thing. Me too. Everybody don their safety glasses. You ready? Mm. Rivet gone. Was it good for you? It was good for me. How about me you? Excellent. And now we should fit, huh? Yeah, so this is what it does here. Take out the wrong ribbon? 
You took out the wrong rivet. No, I took the other one down. Oh, okay. Removal of rivet. Take two. <laughs> this is my favorite tool. We love that tool. I'm going to take out a rivet. I love I'm it. Take out the right one. Uh huh. Oh, there it goes. Man, you got to love that thing. Uh, the fat wing. That fits in there. Like it needs to come this way a wee bit. There's a hole no, right I here. No, I want it. You have to have a gap there. That'll get filled with top. Oh, okay. No, see this. See how that is. Gotcha. Nice and, and see smooth. See how they're even here. Oh yeah. Look beautiful. This is a little tight quarters here. Yeah, don't step back. You're falling. I know. I'm like, look what we're standing on. There's a scaffold inside the bus. <laughs> okay, so then we just got to drill this thing. I've been using Clecos. Just, it's a good idea to hold them in place. Yeah, but if it's too much of a, too much pressure, we'll just spit them back out. Mm. Okay, so, I'm going down. You're going down? No, let's put that one in. Just step down there. Okay. Cleco it. How that works. Those things have it? been, yeah, those things have been really cool. They yeah, they really, work where there's not a lot of pressure. They really help to hold yeah, things see, in place. That's what it's too, oh, too much pressure. Too much hold that. Because there's too much give in it. So, what I really want to do is drill all the holes, 3 sixteenths, and then come back. Because these are going to be bolted on instead of riveted on. Uh huh. Oh, with stainless okay. steel bolts, but I would like to drill them all and then come back and ream them all out. So in the final assembly, these will be stainless steel bolts. These are just zinc plated ones for the fit up. They'll be stainless steel bolts with nylock nuts on the inside so they won't come out. There we go. So we It's a win-win. Now I can go back and drill all these holes. Hey, I will get out of your way. So hopefully I'm going to be able to bend these, well not hopefully, I already bent one and then I discovered I could bend them both at the same time and they'd be the same. So. I think, I hope that's all it's going to take. I had to go back and do it again a second time. So I'm gonna go check them out now. But I think I got it this time. Okay, I got one of these guys to fit. So I didn't have it bent far enough at first. And then I got them bent too far. It's pretty easy to open that back up by hand or with the persuader, you can just beat it back into the right angle. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to try to bend this one back to fit now. These bolts will pull it down quite a ways. Wow, that's pretty good. <laughs> now those guys are pretty well conformed to the rift. Nothing, I mean, I can easily put Cicaflex underneath these little gaps. Wow, it's almost a flat piece for that spot right there. Quite as bad as it looked. <laughs> uh, 
Right. Should be easier to fill it in now. Ah, eh, that'll brand off to a beautiful thing. You know, do the best you can do. <laughs> So that's about all I need to do to that because <clears throat> I can just fill this with Bondo. Make it look a little bit better. But it's plenty strong enough to hold it in place. So there is the roof raise, the rear roof raise transition all put together. I'm gonna put glass in the windows, of course. Laminated safety glass, actually. This will all get primed and it'll all get taken off. It'll all get primer on it. Then the roof will get primer everywhere that I've scratched it up and everything and get painted. And then this stuff will all go back on with uh, Cicaflex caulk underneath it. Make it good and watertight. I am quite pleased with it. I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm grateful to have the help and I'm grateful for Joe and Chris, they help me whenever I get stuck. They've got all kinds of helpful tips and tricks, and they got all these awesome tools they're helping me with. And without them, I wouldn't be able to pull this off. So thank you, Chris and Joe. So hey guys, I just want to thank you for following us along on this wonderful journey we're on, and thanks for watching. We love you.